Loving you. Who's loving you? Modesto, you already know it is. We came to fuck with the Harmon Ward Hall show. You already yes, know. Sir. Yeah, thank you, bro. Uh, honestly, so today you're gonna be an example for future, uh, future guests that, because uh, I get people asking now, uh, not to like stunt or whatever, but like every now and then I get people asking like to want to be on the podcast and stuff. And uh, now that there's so many people, I don't want to be mean and everything like that. Right. And everyone deserves a chance and a voice and also like this opportunity too, you know what I mean? And, right. I, and also don't want to like me, not do a podcast with someone I don't vibe with <laughs> in that anyway. Right. So, uh, so like I just, the criteria is now is just like, I have to see you out in Stockton at events, you know what I mean? Come right. through to say, if I, you see me post an event or someone else post an event, be there. If I see you, come and talk to me. You know what I mean? Don't be too much on the podcast, but show me who you are as a person. Right. I feel that you've done that. I've seen you <laughs> at a few places. You always showed love and know it's been cool right. shit. And uh, you were, you were, weren't too pushy or forward about it. You've been, right. And you liked a lot of my shit, too. So it wasn't even before like seeing you again recently here at 823, right. you know? And uh, when you perform, your sound is definitely uh, even more different. I see it because of the way of everyone was different that day. Uh, and Yo, like, seeing just, Hey, shit, for so record, if y'all day. if y'all wasn't there uh, last weekend, February 29th at the cookout, man, y'all missed the fucking movie, man. We was out there turned up. Missed it was it. man. <laughs> that shit, when I say that shit was wild, that shit was wild, bro. We had so many different right. artists all from you know what I mean the 209 area, so it was lit. It was good just to see all different types of vibes and atmospheres and energies, but we was all in one place together, turned up, man. Especially for Black History Month. Yeah. yeah, I know. So that was definitely a good feeling, you know what I mean? Yeah, it was a great feeling. And then it all comes full circle as coming back here at A23, you know, you come on the podcast in the room and shit. Like, you wouldn't even know that we had a whole ass party out here, you know? For real. That yeah. was the crazy part. We were coming in throughout the, during the day. How yeah, yeah, shit. yeah, yeah. Like, when, when everything's all set back up, I'm like, shit, this don't even look the same spot. Yeah, and this show's already, uh, this, or this venue's already had, like, a lot of good shows uh, and, like, a lot of credible people here in Stockton and yeah, shit. So, yeah, this is, yeah. like, hopefully this becomes, like, some type of landmark here for, I mean, just, yeah, for uh, a fact, art like, and creation um, in general. For anybody that's up and coming, you know what I mean? Like, whether it is you do art, you do music, you do anything, man. Like, this is definitely a spot that you want to come in and tap in with, you know what I mean? They got a lot of good tools out here that's useful for the for anybody with what you're trying to do. Whatever it is you're trying to pursue, whatever it is you... Yeah, you know it's mean? good to have good people around you, too, to motivate yeah. you as you have your Facts, friends. You know, know what I mean? mean? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and so just going into it, like, start with, at your beginnings, man. Like, what started, like, where are you from, and, like, how'd you get into, like, man, starting to rap? you feel me? I'm originally from the Bay Area, you feel okay. me? Like, we moved. You look like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you feel me? I'm originally from the Bay, you feel yeah. me? And then we moved out this way when I was, oh, you know, younger, me and my younger sister and my, uh, my pops. Controversial. So is your real name Dre? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, so the thing is, do you ever think about adding to your name or changing your name? Because Dre's a very common name. Nah. Like, so for me, because I already know my name is Dre, yeah, yeah. I decided to make my name an acronym. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. To set it apart different from everybody else. So yeah, my acronym yeah. is Don't Rush Everything. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. I had to really think about that when when I I first put it together. I had to go through a process to get where I'm at today. You know what I mean? 
and all the life lessons I've had to go through got me to the point where I'm at now where I'm doing everything I love to do. So it's a process. Don't rush everything. Patience is virtue. You no, feel me? <laughs> yeah, don't spread yourself thin either. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you don't want to be all up everywhere and shit with not having the right uh, energy and effort and motive and yeah. something in the wrong place. You know what I'm saying? You know saying? what I mean? You so it's like... all and everything so you don't have that doubt in your mind. Like, facts. Oh, that, like, that's the biggest thing about After that show, like, oh, I wasn't ready. <laughs> some shit. So you stay ready. You don't got to get ready. Facts. So start your beginnings again. So from uh, Oakland, you said. Yeah, from no. From town. No, no. I'm originally born in Fairfield, California. Okay. You know what I mean? Mean, moved around in the Bay, stayed a lot of time in Oakland, okay. and we moved out, you know what I mean, to this way, you feel me, Modesto, grew Momo. up in Modesto. Is that what they call it? Cool? It's called, you <laughs> out here in Momo? You me? <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know what I mean? Detroit, what? <laughs> Detroit, what? <laughs> but no, nah, um, so, we fucked around, came out this way, you know what I mean, grew up in Modesto, Turlock area, I graduated from Pittman, okay. in Turlock, you know what I mean, okay. you know, shout out to the Pride, you feel me, but, uh, so I've just been here basically my whole life. Started. How, how old are you? Right now, I'll be 25 this year. You feel me? How long you been a dad? Man, <laughs> I got a six-year-old and a two-year-old, man. Damn, so you got two of them. Two of them motherfuckers, <laughs> man. Two girls, too. They be trying to rub my pockets, man. I'm just, uh, uh, shit. <laughs> man, but uh, yeah, so it started right there. You know what I mean? I started rapping at a young age. My dad wrote my first rap for me oh, at shit. like seven, eight years old, dog. Nigga, I, little nigga kick this shit. Little, little nigga was yeah. kicking this shit. <laughs> <laughs> it, it started from there, and then, you know what I mean? Like, I started to take it a little bit more serious as I got older. You know, got into high school, you already know, trying to impress the girls, you know what I mean? So you got to come with some some swag, you know what I mean? I come with the sauce, every, you know what I mean? That's why they call me a player, partner, you feel me? But okay. that, hey, that's a story for another day, you feel me? <laughs> but, um... <laughs> But, you know what I mean? That's when I started, like, really taking my craft serious. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And, and really started getting into it then. I pussy, want... pussy is a big motive, huh? Yeah, you yeah. Things, it'll make so. you do a lot of shit in the world. It'll make you pay money. It'll make you do... That's what, like, I started writing was about girls and shit all the time. Facts. You know what I mean? Mm. And it was, like, one as a express way. And then, like, Facts. one thing, then girls, like, kind of see that you do it or you put it out there a little bit. They kind of respect yeah, it a little bit. Like, fact. he's so sensitive. <laughs> like, ooh, he, he just... <laughs> Even it could be a white girl or a black girl. Don't matter. Oh, he knows words. Mm, I like he knows uh, words. Good. But yeah. It is. <laughs> <laughs> but from there, went into the military. You feel me? Spent oh, word. Four years in the military, Marine Corps. Thank you. Um, a Marine Corps. Yes, sir. Oh shit, man. Yeah. So, How was that? Man, that was a crazy ass experience. Though. No yeah, cap. Yeah, like, yeah. I got to go overseas my first duty station. Oh shit. And that's when I. I really started getting into like the music industry and the entertainment world seriously. It was because when I went over there, I started party promoting. Oh, really? So that's how I got my jump. I started meeting How are you in the Marines and party promoting? Man, because I'm that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> nigga All right, nigga, that's one hell of a service. You feel me? <laughs> so, we was, hey, we was getting lit over the seat. Bro, we was getting lit. Yeah. But let me tell you, dog, we was getting hella turned, dog. When I'm talking about hella nights off Henny, just on weekends, man, back to back weekends, like, we used to be turned. Damn, but I started party promoting first yeah. out there, and I went from there to MCing. Started, okay. you know, Being hosting. Comfortable with yeah. it. You know, had and it, I went to the MC, like controlling the crowd. Yeah, you, you got to be, be able to be that. confident and comfortable, even if the crowd's not all there, which you yeah, just got to be able to do it. And even if a crowd's dead, like, you know what I mean? You, you got to be able to still pump them up, even if it's just like a little bit of people, people or yeah. like, it's a big ass crowd. And I've been able to, you know, experience having both. Okay, question. So just going into another thing, like when you perform, because that same thing as me, sometimes when it is a small, uh, a small thing, like say only like 10 people show up or whatever, you know yeah. what I mean? Every time though, when you perform, it seems like there's that like one person who never knew you or something that comes up and is yeah. like, hey, yo, man, fuck with your shit though, you know right. what I mean? And so that's why like, I always tell damn, if one person just comes and gets it and they're really fucking with it, like that's a huge thing to me. Right. That's why I always tell artists, man, like no matter if it's a big crowd or a small crowd, it don't matter. Like, you give 110%. 10%, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Because you never know who's watching you yeah, at, exactly. at all times. You know what I mean? It might be another person you might want to work with. It might be someone Facts. who might punch you in the right direction. It might be someone who might be able to promote a show. You it know might be mean? somebody who knows somebody well, that maybe can push that you show on. gets <laughs> you ready and you realize something where on the next show you fucking do even better. You know what yeah, I'm saying? So if you're going to go, go hard, bro. Facts. Don't fucking, man. Go hard or don't go at all. Uh, how'd you met this dude, man? Man, look. So Again, what's your name? Bands? I just think yeah. of bands, bro. <laughs> he gave my Instagram name, but you know, my real name Lee. Okay, okay, Lee. Okay, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Man, I met this man. We was performing in Modesto, downtown Modesto, Santo Cielo. We actually got a show tonight, you feel me? I'm finna be there tonight after this podcast, but, uh, okay. you know what I mean? But he's gonna be there too, you feel me? We're gonna be turned up, but, uh, you do music too? Yeah, music too. 
And that's where I met him, man. We was both performing. I went on before him. I rocked the stage, you know what I mean? Did yeah. what I do. You, he came up, did his thing, you know. We we wound up chopping it up after the show. And we was like, yo, like, we can really fuck with each other. And we just, we've been cool ever since. Ebony and Ivory, cuz. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> the hood version, you feel yeah. me? Nigga, yeah. what? <laughs> I guess so. Yeah, the, the world is a ghetto. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, let's go uh, finish this sentence, finish this phrase. You know you're in Stockton when... You getting robbed. <laughs> oh, man, man, that's your... <laughs> nah, nigga, look. Everybody's been getting the different nah, answers. Nah, look, let me tell you, like, tell me hey, Stockton been, Stockton been wild lately, man. Look, we need to we need to bring the violence down and shit, because Stockton been turned up a little bit. There's been a lot of robberies, a lot of murders, a whole bunch of shit going on out here, man. Damn, nigga, I'm ignorant to this whole thing, bro. You feel me? Like, and, and like me, Stop you know, being a nigga that come from the hood, you know what I mean? Like... We got to set it a better example, you feel me, for the youth, you know what I mean? Because we got kids that's watching us, you know what I mean? Yeah. And the shit that we doing, and they hearing the, the shit that we talk about and we do, you know what I mean? Even though that's the lies that we probably live. They'll and, emulate history and repeat you it. You feel me? Years. Like, so, you know what I mean? Right now, the youth is just soaking that shit up. And, and they just, you know, being a product of their own environment, what they, they taught. So do you do that with your music? Because as, okay, so from your music standpoint, listening to your music, is that you just represent and seeing things what you see in your environment? Because your music's nah. kind of aggressive. Like, for me? I, and also, before also, too, when you <laughs> so get into it. <laughs> well, no, but like, when I listen yeah. to your music, I hear that Bay Area sound. That's yeah, like, it makes yeah. me remember, like, when I'm like, like, 2008, 2010, with the new phrases and shit that you got now, the content, but that you yeah. got, you get, you remind me of that slap, like, you know like, what I mean? for me? And then, but the thing is, that newer song, too, or one of them, you got like a, a, a Flow almost like like smoke purp and like or some shit when they're rapping like yeah. all that, that. Like, and I'm like, oh, that's cool like on like a bay a bay area type yeah, thing yeah, and I'm like that's what's up. Um honestly like for my music it's just a representation of me like as a whole. Whatever song that is that I put out, it's something that I've lived at some point in my life. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like when I first dropped Killzone. Killzone yeah. Well just, that's what I'm saying, yeah, your music is you know <laughs> Like, Killzone, it talks about a lot of different stories in my life, but primarily, like, Killzone, you know what I mean? I was in the Marine Corps, you feel me? Uh, that's the hardest uh, branch in the world to get into. You no, that's me? what I'm saying, bro. You feel like, me? Bro, so that, that, that's just, like, salute, bro. Like, that's what, what I mean? Like, that, that's some real nigga shit. If you're going to dedicate to your country, bro, you want to be the best of the like, best you feel of the me? best and, of the and, best. And yes, at the end of the day, yeah, everybody yeah. already knows what Marines are known for. We know the pop shit, nigga. Yeah. Like, we, we shoot first, ask questions later. Yeah. And on top of that, that's already been the nigga I am. You know yeah. what I mean? Just in life. So, yeah. Killzone. That was number one. So gone. So, the thing is, now, like, now I get to even now get go to, back to that song and have a different meaning with that. You yeah. know, with this conversation. So, that's why right. I like shit like that. Yeah, it ain't like, you know what I mean? Like I said, every song is just a different representation of something I've went through in my life. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Gone was just a party track. So, that's me talking about, like, all my party nights when I used to promote overseas and I was DJing and doing everything and I was hella turned those up. times and those yeah. moments stay in you yeah. so you're kind of putting all these like stories and stuff kind of together in a and, mindset and with you, the beat and you shit. feel me yeah, okay I got you so it, that's just how my music comes together yeah that's what's up yeah cause I was just curious about that <laughs> like, what does this stem from exactly you know what yeah. I mean cause you're uh, cause you're also a father too you know yeah what I'm I am saying? a father so I was just like where, I'm like you know what I mean but you yeah. but you're like this thing is too meeting you nice dude bro like yeah. you know, <laughs> shit too so I was just like yeah it's yeah. funny like <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people meet me because like I have a very high personality I have a very yeah. like good energy to myself you know what I mean I try to show love to everybody you know everybody gets that they really don't assume like oh he's really this but you know what I mean it's just one of those things like as you grow older you know what I mean as you mature more and now like for me being a father of two you know what I mean like you learn two from your experience yeah two of them you learn from your experiences you know what I mean so oh. you're just able to grow from that and, and come to every situation in a different aspect, you know what I mean? That's what's up. Because, man, back in the day, I promise you, when I was younger, man, my attitude was on 10... Thousand, nigga. <laughs> like, I, I trip, bro, because I'm older, bro. I'm 29, bro, so, like, and I don't even got a kid. I ain't got no girl. I ain't got no responsibility, bro. Yeah, so, like, yeah. when I meet people like y'all, bro, I'm just like, damn, nigga, like, how man-child am I, bro? Because, like, <laughs> I'm like a big-ass kid, Yeah, it's like, bro. it's really, bro, you just, you, you have know, kids. I got these revelations in <laughs> life and shit, yeah, and like, I'm like, really nah, just, nigga, bro, I'm still you, doing you whatever I want to do. You have kids, and then all of a sudden, then, like, you just, shit changes once you have kids, man. I for see real, that, though, all the time. That shit really just changes your whole life, because it's like, it's not it's not just about you. Yeah, yeah, you know what exactly. I mean. You got a little person that you got to look after. You got to take care. Of, you got to, you know what I mean. Teach the ways of the, uh, of life. You feel and me? It seems like you got a great support system around you. Yeah, facts. Fuck with you, so that's great. Yeah. Same thing. Facts, yeah, with facts, me facts. here, and that's great. I like to see that when you pulled up. I was like, damn. You got yeah, we pulled up deep this motherfucker. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
He's squad up, bro. Yo, we can't do this business <laughs> deep, but that's just how we show up. You know what I mean? We support everybody that, you know what I mean, we love and care about and we fuck with, you feel me? At the end of the day. All right, speaking of fuck with, nigga. All right, <laughs> so you fuck with Michael Jackson. Oh, What's yeah. your top three Michael Jackson songs? Uh, <laughs> damn. I, um, I did that. <laughs> <laughs> um, shit. Smooth Criminal. I'm going to just say the, the video for Smooth Criminal is underrated. It is. Because it's I don't it's like hella that. underrated, bro. Like, I don't know why, bro. First off, this man is literally leading. <laughs> that nigga was leading. So that shit would hands down always be the, the, the best part of that video. You know what I mean? That's Everybody sad. remembers that. Yeah, that's what's up. Um, shit. Remember the time. Remember, that's my yep, shit too. Remember the time. Remember the time. Hey, hey, I'm pretty sure anybody who grew up on that song, you sang it to a girl at some point in time in your life. Hey, tell me I'm lying though. Yeah. Right, not lying. Like, right. Uh, hey, nigga. It, uh, uh, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and, uh, 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 hold on, hold on. Uh, Rock my world. Oh, that's my bro, man. Besides Chris Tucker in the video. Besides Smooth Curran, I'm fucking with you on those two. Yo, yeah, right? Uh, yeah, because uh, uh, what is it? Uh, with Chris Tucker, which one is it? Uh, what'd you say? What is it? Rock my world. You rock my world. Yeah, and then he was hitting the shutters. Going down the stairs, nigga. I was like, nigga, this nigga, this is the only time. Honestly, I felt like that was smooth criminal and fucking beat it, like put together but, in, in like Mexico or some shit, nigga. Like, yo, was, I was good. fucking with that shit, nigga, hard. I was like, that's one of my favorites, nigga. Like, uh, you rock my world. You rock my world. Yeah. And it was new. When you talk yeah, to me. Yeah, and it was a bump until you. When you look at me. When you. Nah, I'm gonna tell you, whoever was playing the bass for that motherfucker, uh, was, do, 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 do. <laughs> uh, one of my favorite ones that I don't ever bring up, I'll bring it up right now, is the one uh, with he did with Janet, the one Scream or whatever. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. was like when, when they had the whole futuristic. Bro, but yeah. like, not only the video was tight, when you really listen to that song from like a while away, yeah. you hear it, you're like, bro, they were fucking spitting on that shit. And it's like, it's also like one of those songs, like when you think about the lyrics, dog, that's, like, sad. that's some real that's shit that motherfuckers live through yeah. every day, especially those who be in the limelight 24 yeah, 7. Bro, like, them motherfuckers be really feeling oh, like man. that, like, dog. Y'all pressuring me to, you know, do whatever, do whatever to get whatever story. Uh, yeah, wait, Niggas, like, get the fuck out of my face. Yeah, you feel me? Yeah. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Pressuring me. I was like, oh, damn. Yeah, I was like, like bro, hard, hey, bro. Like, you guys just talking some real truth on that shit. You feel me? Stop pressuring me. With Janet, you know what? Yo. Yo, I'm trying to tell you, Janet's hair was looking crazier than my dreads right now. But I was fucking with it. So she was over there. Uh. <laughs> yeah, like the fucking mine. Honestly, uh, from Janet would be uh, the one. Uh, uh, I get so lonely. I get so lonely. Yeah, because she came out with the titties. Oh, um, bow with the talk. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the breakdowns. I like breakdowns. And I, on her breakdown, and I was a young, like eleven year old. She's just like bam, and I was just like, and then she had the red hair again and shit. That's um, what's tight. I, like I think. I think my favorite um, Janet song would have to be anytime. Was that? Oh, uh, in the yeah. thunder and rain. rain. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's my favorite one right there. That's the yeah, hands no, yeah, down my yeah. favorite Janet song. That was good too. That was good. Yeah. All right, so going into other things that we like. Uh, well, if you had a show, uh, like if you were doing a show, like a like a performance, mm -hmm. which if you whether you're watching it or performing, who would you want uh, to be in the performance? Like who would you want to be there? Now do they gotta be living or do they? They could be living, dead. It don't matter the budget. Oh, nigga, budget. Big, right, it's on. And it's gonna be like it's a show. theater. It's gonna be like you know. What oh, I mean? it's like big too. Like, big time shit. Like, like, let's say like forty, thirty thousand people. Like okay, like all right, that. for sure. Well, for one, if I was to be performing in it, me, um, Pac. Okay. Uh, shit. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. I would, I would have to get somebody turned up. Uh, bring Mac back. Okay, yeah. Mac, Dre. <laughs> Mac Dre. You feel me? You already know. R.I.P. to the Mac. You feel me? Y'all right me. Um, Y'all right me. My who's that? That's like three that. right there. <laughs> um, Forty and 40 short and short. Okay, right there for sure. Then yeah, hell yeah. Hell and yeah. if I was just watching, it would be them four and no, uh, them four and oh, it's uh, you. Okay, I thought you were gonna do another five. I'm like, nah, nigga. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> it would be them four and probably probably the loonies. 
The loonies? I don't know if it's that much. I got five on it. Uh, I, I got five. Bro, on yo, crazy it. enough. I actually got to open up for these niggas. Yeah, bro. They put from they came out here before. The one dude who bro. sings or whatever came out here before. Yeah, yeah. Mouth. Yeah, yeah. Nah, yeah, but yeah. like, no, nah, I actually got to perform for both, like the whole yeah, group yeah, as yeah, a whole. Yeah, nigga, yeah. like, so my pops actually, shout out to my pops, the Raider, my boss, you feel me? Um, Raider Nation Explosion 2 coming up July 18th. I'm about to perform at that as well. So make sure you hit me up and get them tickets. But uh, I performed at the last year's one, and it was uh, in Merced, right? Uh, and the headliners was the Loonies, yeah, yeah. RBL Posse, and Drew Down. Okay. That was the headliners. And then you had me on the lineup as an opener um, and a couple different other artists. And I, it was crazy because, for one, like, I grew up on these motherfuckers. Yeah, like, yeah, this is yeah, shit yeah. my dad was bumping when I was a young and you feel me? Like, my kids' age and shit like that, you know, he, he put this music around me. So yeah. I grew up on these niggas. So to be able to actually be in front of them and perform in front of them, you feel me? And then they turned around and as soon as I got off the stage, they dapped me up like, yo, you did your shit. Did, 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 did. Like, that shit was a crazy ass experience because yeah. I had never experienced nothing like that. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. That's probably like the biggest highlight. It's one of those moments where you're like, I gotta keep doing yeah, this. Yeah, and mind you, like, <laughs> mind you, like, last year was like the year for me, like, when I really started to really get out there because I opened up for like Mozzie last year. Oh, that's what's I, up. I, was, I was everywhere last year, dog. Like, I that's went to, the, I was at the Mac Dre Day celebration in Oakland at the yeah, Fox right, Theater. So, you know up. what I mean? I was out there with all of them. So, like, it it was just, that was the highlight of everything, of, like, that whole year right there, you know what I mean? And then for the podcast and, you know what I mean, the interviews about it to come out, like, a couple weeks later, and they're saying, like, oh, yeah, RBL Posse and Drew Down and the Loonies, they all did their shit, but the one who really stood out was Dre, did, 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 you know what I mean? Like, that was, like, the ba the greatest experience I ever got to have. Yeah, it was like, like, I know I left it all on the stage, and I was tired as a motherfucker, bro. <laughs> well, it's almost like, uh, it's just, like, funny, because when you work at it while you're doing it, because you know you're not doing it for that, but when yeah. you get a chance to be recognized, it means it, so it much. It means something. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It gives you that little like, bit of like, I don't need nobody's pride. fucking, like, you know what I mean? You don't need to notarize me, motherfucker. Like, like, I know I can do yeah, this type yeah, shit, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Man. And that's the crazy then part when someone me. steps aside, put their effort to rec really recognize you, you're just like, yeah. fuck, man, that's what's up. I can't quit. Right, like, because, man, the thing about it is, especially if you, like, an independent artist, especially like, like myself, you feel me, and you got to fund your own career, like, it does get hard. The road gets hard Lord. as a motherfucker, like, Lord. no cap, bro. It damn near be making you want to quit sometimes because you just be like, fuck, I feel like I'm not getting somewhere. But then it's like you hit that that one milestone, it just, like, reassures you, like, bro, like, even though I want to give up, like, nigga, keep going for it yeah. because... I'm gonna break through at some point if I keep at it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I've already talked, had that talk to myself many a times where it's like, bro, you're not gonna quit no matter what. I don't give a fuck if you're 100 years old. You're still, I'm gonna do it no matter what. Facts. You know what I mean? Just because it's fun for me. And like, what else am I gonna do? Right, right. You know right. what I mean? Fucking drive off the freeway. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, going into uh, action packed movies, what kind of movies do you, <laughs> what kind uh, of movies do you shit. like, bro? <laughs> like, action packed? Well, like, who's your favorite actor? Um, Cause I usually go Brad Pitt, but you also nah, Denzel. Okay. Denzel, okay, so training you, day, nigga. <laughs> King Kong my. ain't got shit on me, nigga. What? <laughs> my Jerry, I'm trying my to my nigga. I'm trying to. I, you know, the, I don't know how to do the voice. I can't. Man, but my uh, nigga. Yeah, like Denzel. That's why. You, so you, Jake. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you you remember training? Nah. You never uh, see Trey Day? Never seen it. That's why bro, you said I gotta that. show you that movie. I'm about to see it. Yeah, bro, that shit, that shit lit. It's with Denzel. I never. Denzel, that's the. Uh, I seen him. That's what he got his uh, Academy Award yeah. for. Yeah, that shit was pretty much. He played a dirty. Seen, he plays I seen a, him before though, but I he never played, seen that movie. Yeah, he, yeah. Played, he plays a dirty cop. Denzel plays a dirty cop, and then it's training day, so it's a whole day. And then so like Dr. Dre's up on, on in it too, the crooked cop, like, and they're setting someone up, and the white dude's in it trying to be like. He's thinking this is like a normal day, but really though, throughout the whole day they're just setting him up. So like, you can set up on whole, a crime. The whole day, Either bro. you can set up on a crime or go in on it. Pretty much at the end of the and movie. He's just chilling. And then yeah, he he, and by the end he starts figuring it out. He's trying to like figure and go through it, yeah, but like yeah, yeah, there's yeah. nothing he can do because this nigga's like well intact and tied. Danzo's got shit on lock, but this nigga yeah. Jake comes through and kind of you know what I mean yeah, yeah. you know he, he shows like what a good yeah he yeah, fucks yeah. Well, he shows you what a good cop is and like yeah. you know what I mean I guess or at least a person or whatever but. It's just it's a trip person. movie. Yeah, Denzel wound up getting his ass killed at the end, though. Oh, why'd you? I was trying not to respect. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I mean, shit. No, I'm not even gonna watch it. Yeah, nah, that. Hey, but the movie good as fuck, though. It's like, for real. Dr. Dre's in it. Uh, Snoop Dogg's in it. Yeah, yeah Hell Dogg's in a wheelchair and shit. He's yeah, really yeah. gripping in it. <laughs> 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 I 
so why would you be Denzel? You a crooked cop? Or what were you talking about? Like, like uh, why? Because I always say, like, what, nah, what, nah, Denzel, nah. what Denzel would you think he would be? Because I'd, I'd do Brad Pitt, because if I was Brad Pitt, I would want to be like the Once Upon a Time in Hollywood Brad Pitt or the Troy Brad Pitt. But I'm really more like the burn after reading Brad Pitt. You know what I mean? Nah, oh, wait. So I wouldn't be Denzel. Like, Denzel's my favorite actor, but I feel like if I had to be a role in a movie, I'd probably be Cube and Boys in the Hood. Yeah. You know what I mean? Okay. That that that'd be definitely the role. You hear that, folks? <laughs> <laughs> this nigga's uh, getting revenge for his brother. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but that's what's up, bro. Why you choose that when you get Kim Dark's face? Like, I was just like, why? Um, you like there there's a lot of shit about him that I relate to. You know what I mean? You know, uh, okay. Minus, you know what I mean? Obviously, the jail time. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But there's a lot of other parts to him that. I can relate to like he lost his brother. I lost my brother. Okay. You know what I mean? Well, he's not my biological brother, but he's yeah, you know, yeah. My brother it doesn't matter. It don't matter. Um, I lost him last year in a you know drunk accident. You know what I mean? Oh, shit. shit like that. So um, makes you feel like uh, like like want revenge. Or yeah, fucking, you know what I mean. Yeah, you want answers to a lot of shit, yeah. but then also like or justice. Yes. Or how yeah? How he thought? You know what I mean? He he was a a smart ass thinker, but at the same time he was. Still, who he was, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the end of the day, he's a hood ass nigga. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. like me, you know what I mean. I elevate, I, I, you know what I mean. Smarten up, I get, yeah, I get yeah. more knowledge, I gain, you know what I mean. Uh, not just street wise, but also like just regular world, you know what I mean. Really, just knowledge uh, of day to day life and shit like that, you know what I mean. But I'm still who I am at the end of the day. Hell yeah, bro. you know what I mean. And don't think just because you know what I mean. I, I didn't sauce up a little bit, you know what I mean. I, I didn't actually mature that. I'm gonna whoop your ass, nigga, because anybody can see it with their hands. You feel me? Like, <laughs> that's just Stockton, nigga. I don't know. For you me, feel I'm me? Because, <laughs> hey, no, hey, niggas, niggas be, they be trying. Yeah, I, but let's end it on the positive. <laughs> right. uh, so, anything you want to leave with the people or anything, Dre? I mean, um, honestly, this was a great thing. Again, I just want to, before you go ahead and close out, is just, uh, bro, just come and see me at these events yeah. and shows. Be a cool person. Uh, just present yourself right. And if I fuck with you, we'll get you on and get some scheduling. Sometimes it's my part because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing for the week. And I, don't wanna, <laughs> I just don't I don't really want to uh, pull out the rug on people. So sometimes I won't respond right away so I can see what the fuck is, what the path is next. Because if I just tell you later when there's a spot that could be now, you know what I mean? Right. So just, you know, again, people, meet me at shows. Meet me in person <laughs> first. Let me see who you are. Right, don't just DM me and I don't know who the fuck you are. Nah, yeah, nah, yeah. Nah, like, Come through. Let me see support. You know, or at least show some support on my page. Let's like do something. a little something and come through. Because again, bro, you have a, a great sound. You're, you seem like an amazing person. From what yeah. I know of you so far, this conversation was great. <laughs> you had a lot to bring to the table, uh, and it was a fun time too. Yeah, so. fun, fan. I'm but, glad. Yeah, I'm glad, glad I got to come. Uh, I think the biggest lesson that I, I would like anybody to learn from me, if y'all don't learn anything, is to you know what I mean? Never stop believing in your dreams. You know, um, mind you, I came from a lot where, you know what I mean? There's a lot of people that told me I wasn't going to amount to shit. I wasn't going to be shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, a nigga struggled to get his, you know what I mean? His high school diploma. You know what I mean? I almost didn't get that bitch. You feel yeah, me? Yeah. And, you know what I mean? To see all the humble beginnings that I come from and everything that I've learned, you know what I mean? As a young adult and to be now, you know what I mean? Now being about to be 25 in June, and I've got to go around the world. I've got to see, you know, different countries. I've got to see different states, been all over, all over the U.S., you know what I mean? I've got to make music. I've been wanting to make music since I was a kid, yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? So to be able to do all the things I've done uh, and, and be where I'm at now, and now I'm a father, you know what I mean? That's a, It's tar- too hard to not recognize you're not blessed. You, you know? feel me? So it's just like, just never stop believing in it. Whatever it is that you believe in, like, never stop believing in it. You know what I mean? Do it, man. Yeah, Especially just do it. That's why I get At the end of the day, like, do it. <laughs> you, you got to fuck with yourself the hardest. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like, before anybody, you, before you fuck with anybody else, before anybody else fucks with you, you got to fuck with yourself yeah, the hardest. Fuck you, know with, I mean? you don't fuck with yourself. You, you, feel me? Like, you, you ain't going to make it. Yeah, yeah. But, sure. yeah, that, that's probably the, the biggest lesson I could probably leave. Hell, yeah, man. Anything you want to leave, bro? You've been chilling. This is your time. <laughs> this is your time, man. I'm just chilling, you know what I mean? No, you feel me? But that goes a long way, too, bro. You know what I mean? Honestly, like, you being here for for him, bro. Yeah, just yeah, support him. He goes a long you know, way. I'm always be here for him, you feel me? Just yeah, exactly. Like, just yeah, that's here right. For me, you know yeah. I mean? So that's, that's awesome, bro. Yeah. And that shows that, he, again, like the support, bro. And you without you, me? there's no me. And to all my lovers listening to friends, thank you. And that's Stay it. Stay positive. Love yourself. Love yourself. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Bam, bomb, bomb. Oh, uh, yeah, we got right under 30 minutes. We good. Hey, you Boom. feel me? Like, just Those are always like the best ones. Where it's like, it's flowing in this shit, yeah, yeah. but it's like, you still hitting your marks on what you need to do. Yeah, yeah, you did good, bro. You feel me? Just like that. Yeah, just to yeah, wrap yeah, up, bro. the Harbor War Hall show. Boom, boom, boom. Come you and check it out. It'll be posted on YouTube here in like three weeks. We got we got a backlog, but I'm letting them flood out. So I'm about to start doing two, two or three a week. So he'll be out here shortly. Come check it out. And you I'm two me? for two today. I got two more after hey, this. Hey, <laughs> one more time for the crowd. Do, 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 do. Hey, what it is, it's Harmon Warhol. Hey, click all the links aside next to me. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Go ahead and follow us on Instagram. Do something. Please show love. Hey, and get love back. Thank you.